Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I did want to quickly let you guys know that I am so excited to be back. I know you guys probably have no idea how long I've been off of work, but it is about three weeks now and I am so excited to be back. I did pre-record my video so you guys didn't miss out on much, but I definitely am struggling to get back into the swing of working. So here we are. We're going to be starting off our year with a very simple set of nails. I'm not gonna lie, I got really tired of my long nails very, very quickly since I was off of work. I decided I was gonna go ahead and cut them off, soak them off, and do a short set of nails for you guys. So we are very quickly prepping my natural nail. I'm using my Kiara Sky rechargeable e-file. I have her at a speed of 4,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using the Profiles Backstage Mandrel bit and the purple sanding bands from Profiles Backstage as well. Again, 4,000 RPMs is my comfortable speed and I do recommend that you guys do not go any higher than that for your prep on the natural nail. I'm just very quickly going around that cuticle area and while I'm going around the cuticle area, I gently push it up to expose more of the natural nail. Essentially what you would do with a cuticle pusher, I like to do it with my mandrel bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead again, we're just gently buffing off that shine and prepping it nicely. Don't need to ask for them, show love, show love Ooh, take it back to when nobody used to know me like Now once I'm done buffing off that shine, I like to go in and do extensive cuticle work. So we are using this needle bit from Profiles Backstage. And I'm just very quickly and carefully going around that cuticle area. This is going to help remove any excess dead skin that you may have missed with your mandrel bit. And even though you think you got it all, trust me, you probably didn't. Because a mandrel bit is so wide, a lot of the time you cannot get into that hard to reach area. So this helps tremendously. Give it a try and you will not be disappointed. Now I'm going in with my cuticle ball bit. This is my favorite. This one is from Amazon. You can find it in my Amazon storefront. And now at this point, I have moved my speed to 5,000 RPMs. And I'm just very quickly taking that bit with very light pressure and just filing off that dead skin. You can see it come off very easily. And this basically just replaces the cuticle nipper. You don't have to trim anything off. You just gently buff it off. Now, of course, if you do have very stubborn cuticles, you can go ahead and nip them off very quickly. But once you get the bulk of it off, the maintenance of your cuticles should be very minimal. So I'm just quickly buffing that off. Again, light pressure at 5,000 RPM. Now for today's video, we're gonna be doing a short almond. At least I consider these short. If you guys are not new to my channel, I'm sure you guys know my long nails are extremely long. So these are extremely short in my opinion. So I'm just going ahead and using the universal tips from Not Polish. These are my OG favorite tips. And if I am gonna be doing short nails, I like to use some simple tips like these for that since I'm going to be trimming them down quite a bit and the shape of them doesn't really matter. If they are going to be almond, round, or a coffin, these are the perfect tips because they are already slightly tapered up near that top. So whenever you go into file, there is a little less work that you have to do. I'm just taking my craft scissors and trimming them to my liking. I made them a little bit longer than I expected just because I trimmed them a little bit longer, but I ended up leaving them that length. I feel like it was a good call. Once I started filing, I really liked it, so I went ahead and left it. I did not file them too much when it came to that tip. I'm taking my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file. These are my favorite go-to's must-have files, and I'm just gently going on the sides, tapering them very gently and I want to make sure that I'm moving from the left to the right right to the left alternating from side to side to ensure that I do not over file one side or the other and then I'm gonna be taking my hand file and lightly going on that tip and you can see we kind of go underneath and tuck it underneath that tip 
and it just makes for more of an easy process when it comes to rounding that tip off. So if you've watched my beginner basics shaping video, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't and are struggling with your shaping, make sure you guys check out that video along with all my other beginner basic videos because I go really, really in depth and break everything down to make it as simple and easy for you guys to learn from those videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to shape them into what I consider my almond shape. Basically making it nice and slim up top and then we're curving it at the tip. Now once I'm done shaping them and I'm content with that shape, I'm gonna go ahead and take my e-file once again at 4,000 RPMs with my mandrel bit and my sanding band. And I'm just gonna very quickly buff that tip right into my natural nail only because I want it to create the perfect canvas for my acrylic application. So here I am mixing a custom color that I'm gonna be using on my nails. I am taking clear acrylic with a little bit of silk scarf and a little bit of bear me from not polish so i'm mixing those three acrylic powders to create a sheer glittery nude color i don't know what got into my head but i have envisioned that i wanted a very natural set of nails super simple but then i wanted to add a little bit of sparkle in there so i went ahead and added that shimmery nude color and it is so so pretty so I am just going ahead, once I am content with the color, I'm adding more of it just to make a bigger portion of acrylic so I have enough for all 10 fingers. So again, I'm using clear acrylic, silk scarf, and bear me all three powders mixed. And I just mixed it to my liking. You can add more nude if you want. You can add more of the glitter one if you want. It's all preference. I just added the smallest amount of both into that clear base. So now that I am done mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my lint-free wipe from Kiara Sky, a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, and I'm just going to rub that in my natural nail. This is gonna help remove any excess dust while also dehydrating your natural nail. This is extremely crucial when it comes to product adhesion. So if you are having issues with lifting and you've done all your prep properly, go ahead and dehydrate and prime properly and you should be good to go. Now I'm taking Not Polish Primer. This is a triple X bond and I'm just going to be rubbing that in just on the natural nail. And I'm gonna be doing two coats of this. Personal preference, you could do one if you like. I like to ensure that my nails are not gonna lift with two coats of this primer. Now getting right into our acrylic application, for today's video I am using the Not Polish Acrylic Monomer. Along with that I'm using their acrylic brush in a size 12. And then of course the lovely concoction Nude Glitter Sheer Acrylic that I mixed with you guys. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start my acrylic application. I went ahead and did kind of like a test swipe to make sure that I liked the color on my nails. And I did, so now I'm gonna go ahead and build up that acrylic. I'm not even gonna lie, because like I mentioned, I've been gone for so long, I slightly forgot how to apply acrylic. Never did I think that would happen, but I went in and started applying it and I was like, hold up, reset focus and then i got the hang of it again so we're starting off with a medium sized bead of acrylic placing that near the middle section of the nail and then we're going to be quickly letting the product level out on its own and then i'm just guiding it down towards the tip and then now i'm just tucking in the sides i want to make sure that the acrylic stays as neatly laid as possible so as it's setting i'm making sure that i am making that as smooth as i can now another medium sized bead of acrylic, we're gonna be placing that up near the cuticle area and I'm holding my finger completely downward so that the product does not flow into my cuticles. And then once I am content with that area, I go ahead and blend it down towards the existing acrylic. Whenever I'm doing very short nails like these on myself, I do not build up the acrylic thick at all. I want it to look as natural as possible. So I make sure that I leave them nice and thin, but a little bit of the thickness is going to be in that apex because you still want to ensure that you do not get any cracking or anything like that. 
but I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that. A medium sized bead in the middle section. We're gonna quickly work with the product downwards, tucking in the sides, and then second bead goes up near the cuticle area. And you can see me moving my finger in the direction that I need to give me a better view of where I'm gonna be working. And then once I apply that nicely, we're gonna blend everything out. And I wanna make sure that I'm cleaning up those sides very good because if it flows into that cuticle area, that can cause lifting and we want to minimize any lifting issues. And then I'm just dragging out the product and cutting off a little bit because I felt like it was a little bit too thick on the tip. And then again, we're gonna repeat that medium sized bead in the middle section, blending it down towards the tip. I'm basically just touching it and guiding it where I want it to go. The not polished acrylics do a really good job of helping you out when it comes to your application. So if you are working with their products, I promise you your life is a little bit easier than if you weren't. So again, working that product up towards that cuticle area while holding the finger downward and then just very quickly blending. Destiny has my name, no, it's coming, it'll never go. I know that we all gonna be all right. We gonna make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way. I can see the blessings coming our way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings on blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming our way, our way, our way. Blessings on blessings, yeah. I can see the blessings coming our way. I can't say the life's been perfect Or complain cause life's been worth it And all because of who he is, is working I'll be working out for my God And no more living in that fear No more tears and no, no Oh, he's working me and molding me Who he wants me to be I know that we all gonna be alright now just very quickly I'm taking some clear acrylic from not polish and I am going to be encapsulating these nails I'm basically taking a medium-sized bead of clear acrylic and just swiping it over the surface of that acrylic and this is just to give it a little bit more thickness I'm not too concerned about encapsulating these because the glitter is not thick it is super, super fine. You can barely even see it, so it's not a big deal if you do not encapsulate. Now, once everything is nice and dry, I'm going back in with my e-file from Kiara Sky. I have now moved my speed up to 11,000 RPMs, and I am using my rose gold 5-in-1 bit. This one is medium grit, but I believe it's really old, so at this point, it's fine. <laughs> And I'm going in around that cuticle area and then just very gently filing the entire surface of the nail. Super quick and easy process once you get the hang of using your e-file, especially with really short nails. You do not have to do too much when it comes to filing. Once I'm done using my e-file, I'm going to quickly go in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file once again. We're going to be filing that shape nice and crisp. Even though I tried to tuck in my acrylic as much as possible, you still want to go in and finish file because no matter how neat you lay your product, it does still add a little bit of thickness on the sides and you want to make sure you make it nice and thin or nice and crisp 
as you started. So I'm just going again on the sides and then rounding off that tip very carefully. And always remember to alternate from side to side to prevent over filing on either side. Now I did go ahead and wash my hands with some water and I scrubbed them very well so I didn't use a lint-free wipe for today's video but I made sure I cleaned off my nails very very well before we go in with our top coat. I'm using the Young Nail Stain Resistant Top Coat. It's linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested. If you have hairstylist clients or if yourself has really colorful hair color that transfers onto your nails or gets stained very easily, this top coat you guys is a lifesaver. Trust me when I tell you, if I don't use it, my nails get super super stained so if I'm doing shiny top coat, this is my go-to. It ensures that my nails are going to look nice and clean without getting any of my green hair color transferred on them. You want to make sure that they look nice and flawless and not dingy. So definitely recommend this top coat. It is amazing. The only downside is that it does have a tacky layer on the surface once you cure it, but I can look past that because it is amazing in every shape and form. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of the light. I went ahead and put it in there for the 90 seconds on the Kiara Sky rechargeable LED light. And I'm taking a lint-free wipe and some Young Nail Swipe and just scrubbing off that tacky layer. We're taking some cuticle oil from Profiles Backstage and really rubbing that into our cuticles. It's my favorite go-to and it smells so freaking good. I use the scent called Goddess, so definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a really good cuticle oil. It doesn't leave a shiny cast or anything like that on the cuticles, which is my favorite. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Poll time. Do you guys like my nails long? Or do you like my nails short? Comment down below and let me know what your favorite is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Good, good,